Time for a bit of gaming sports mayhem. I think. So I have been picking up copies of Blitz Bowl left and right. I picked up a copy of the first edition. I picked a cop picked up a copy of the second edition. Now I have the ultimate. So the ultimate edition comes with, of course, your standard rule book. It comes with a pitch, which is smaller than the uh, original Blood Bowl pitch. And it comes with two teams. Now, this edition comes with the Reikland Reavers, I believe they are, the human team, and the Skaven team as well. Now, it does have cards for other teams, which is great, but it is missing the one that I need, which sucks. So we'll go over that in a second. So you get your team cards. Uh, you also get your plays, and which are basically challenges and the... Uh, the bonuses that you can do and you get a set of dice enough for both players along with the bases that you need now the two teams uh honestly I i've got two sprues of each of these guys i've already built the skaven and i have not built the uh the human reavers yet um but this e even though this is a push to fit sprue this is half of a blood bowl team so the Blitz Bowl teams are made, so it's half. Now, as you can see here, this is the first edition copy that I picked up that still hadn't even opened the wrap at this point. But I have a full Blood Bowl team with the human team that's in that box. Now, the plastic on this is different because, as you can see, this is the Skaven team that came in the other edition of blood of blitz bowl uh, that came with the um it was a separate box that you had to buy for blitz bowl itself and the separate box contained the instructions for in for assembly and the team themselves now this plastic is very soft compared to normal G gw plastic you can actually score it with your fingernails so you kind of got to be careful with these guys so on to this uh, we have the <clears throat> the measuring gauge and the two dugouts for the teams. Now you have two sides on this one and there are two different sides, sides as opposed to some of the uh, previous editions. First edition only has uh, the same print on both sides. So the reason why you have a dugout printed on both sides is because the Blitz Bowl board comes with two sides. Now this first side of course is the side that only has the one um, entrance in it or I, I forgot what it's called where the ball appears and basically the balls come out of there and then this one has not only walls but it has two spots for the uh, the blitz bowl balls to come out so as you can see here from this close-up it's uh, very high quality very well printed very thick boards as well it's a very nice setup so Honestly, it's, you know, I, I really like this game. I like the production quality of it. And uh, so as, as you can see from you know, my um, cards here, it comes with the team cards for all of the, uh, well, most of the other teams. You have your stats on one side, and it gives you the names and examples on the other. It comes with the undead, the orc, the skaven, the human team, the halfling team, the dwarf team, Chaos, Black Orc, Dark Elves, the Elves, the Goblins, Corn, Lizardmen, the Necromantic Team, the Noble Team, the Nurgle Team, the Ogre Team, the Snotling Team, and the Wood Elf Team. And I just gotta say, I really like the Snotling Team. <laughs> I really, I might actually have to buy a sprue of those guys. The only thing that sucks about it is they didn't include cards for these guys, these these gals, excuse me, these ladies, because I, I bought a whole, bought the whole team and the pitch and all that stuff. I just got to get a you know copy of Blood Bowl. I don't have one yet. Anyway, you have your challenge cards, and the challenge cards also also come with bonus plays, and these are kind of your objectives and also sort of a pseudo currency in the game. I mean, it, there's. I have to read the rules again, but you've got your um, your plays here and your um, 
the instructions along with the rookie card and the rookie card is good if you're if you have someone that is new to the game that you're trying to introduce to um, Blood Bowl or Blitz Bowl you give them this card and it gives them a little bit of a heads up on someone that might have played a little more so with the instruction manual of course you get a description of all the stuff that comes with it uh, along with a, a kind of a key to all of the uh, to the board a small description of the cards it comes with your basic description of you know a little bit of background and overview overview it starts into important concepts and an overview of the game and then goes right into playing the game you know the basic rules the actions you can take and it gives you all of the information you need in one quick place and then once you get through that there are actually advanced rules if you want to play some more complicated game well not, i wouldn't necessarily complicated but if you want to up the excitement a little bit you have advanced rules and this is something that they do in some of the um the games for uh you know these box games that games workshop puts out sometimes they'll do advanced rules and whatnot so it's got painted examples of the two teams along with a little more background and story and on the last couple of pages there are the instructions now these guys are push to fit so it's very simple you you clip you know you, you snip you scrape you you push together you're good now me I did use a little bit of plastic cement on a couple of these guys but be careful because the plastic cement will actually um, pull the color off the plastic and it gets kind of blue or, gr or brown um, you also get a glossary which gives you a definition of all the terms and a reference chart for when you're playing the game to make looking up the rules a little bit easier and I really really like that I, I I like that GW does that on some of their games. They should do that on all of their games. <clears throat> so this is what both teams look like put together. And it did not take very long, honestly. It, it, it didn't take me a whole lot of time to assemble them. But, um, you know, it was honestly quite worth the cost of the game just to get these two halves of the teams once you play it once or twice you actually will have no issues getting into the full game now as you can see here this is me putting everything back in the box and once again these little boxed games that GW puts together really really cool how the inserts are designed so with these you have spots for not only your team members but you have spots for the dice for the balls for all of the tokens and chits you have spots specifically for the cards and for the dugouts and the measuring gauge and the board and the manual sit right on top and as you can see all you got to do is just kind of rock the base back and forth and it will slide right into the spot with no issues the only thing you have to contend with is with the uh, some of the, the skaven you have to gauge which skaven go where based on how big they are because there's one section that's a little bigger than the other and that's not too big of a deal you just have to you put the ones that have the larger model profiles in the the right spots and you could I mean you could individually mark each one if you really wanted to it wouldn't be too big of a deal at least I don't think it would be but so I mean that that's pretty much it that's the game in a nutshell that's everything you get it's worth it if you want to try the try something like Blood Bowl without investing in full Blood Bowl initially anyway so if you've liked what you've seen I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe feel free to join me on discord feel free to join me on patreon on Instagram all that stuff so um, that's how the game pans out and I hope you enjoyed watching.